I do it because I love it. I mean, it's all I know. Nestled in the corner of Penn State's campus is Brett Gravitt's home, a 176-yard indoor track. This is a mental day right here. Right here, under this blanket of snow, was his old home, Penn State's soccer field. He was a rising star for the Nittany Lions. The net is right in front of the state and soccer, right in there. Bob Warming is Penn State's soccer right coach. Here. So Brett came over and gathered the ball there. And remember, it's Brett scoring Penn State's only goal in a 2014 NCAA tournament game. Definitely one of the top five goals I've ever seen live in my life. I'll never forget. But what he would like to forget was a text message he got from Brett two days after Christmas that year. I've been in an accident and uh, hurt his back and didn't think he was going to walk again and had these emoticons and just, you know, with tears coming down. A snowboarding accident on the day after Christmas in 2014 left him permanently paralyzed from the chest down. Everything changed that night on a mountain in Virginia. His athletic dreams were on hold. But the human and spirit in Brett Gravitt had a different plan. I just remember spending a lot of time in the hospital and it was just like, I got two choices here. I mean, this is, this is my life. I didn't see any other option. It, it was like, I have a choice to be miserable or not. But he needed some help. I'm very good at coaching and getting the person ready. Former Olympian Terry Jordan runs Penn State's Ability Athletics Program. I think it's just an inner drive that you don't give that. Either you got it or you don't. He wants to be the best no matter what sport it is. Just nine months after leaving a rehab facility in Atlanta without the use of his legs and his soccer dreams behind him, Brett has picked himself up with new goals in front of him and is ranked 22nd in the world in wheelchair racing. He believes, and he's right, that he can be special in, in, in things that he does. Woo! The drive to be better than good lives in the best athletes. Get a little blood pump into the chest. But there's still a question he asks himself. Why me? You walk around campus and you're the one person in a wheelchair. And every, you know, you get looks that like people, it might not be dirty looks, but they're just like curious. But you know, you don't want that unwanted attention sometimes. I'm nervous. What happened in a snowboarding accident didn't close a door for Brett. It opened a new one. <sighs> How it lined up and everything after my injury is just like, it's, to say it's a coincidence is just not, not doing it justice. Tragedy took Brett Gravitt from the soccer field to a wheelchair, but in so many ways, it didn't change who he really is. This young man lives his life every day by an old expression, do what you can, where you are, with what you have. Teddy Roosevelt who said that, and I, I just saw that, and I mean, it felt like that was, it hit me and I related to it. For athletes and non-athletes, success is measured in different ways. Medals come and go, world records come and go, but the kind of imprint that they're going to leave on somebody else's life is far more important, and that's what Brett's going to do. It was meant for this path, whether I mean I like it or not, but I, I'm just going to choose to embrace it. So it's my life, and. I don't really, I can't take it back, so I can only go forward.